Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at sampling and populations there six for the General 2 HSC course. Focusing today on capture and the recapture technique, which we looked at in year 11. This will pretty much be the only lesson in um, in the sampling populations. Um, we looked at questions like this where you might be, um, let's say, we, we capture um, 20 kangaroos, being Australian, that is quite fitting, um, and we and tag them. We then release them. And then later on, we might um, recapture, let's say, 10 kangaroos, and we'll find that, um, let's say, four are tagged. And we are asked to go and estimate the population. So what is capture recapture? So it's a technique um, to basically estimate the population um, of usually animals, those types of things, and particularly, you know, say for example, you're on a farm, you're trying to estimate the population of kangaroos, it can be quite difficult. So this is what they sort of do. So at the moment, we want to come up with some fractions that are going to help us to estimate this, um, this sort of question. So when we capture the 20 kangaroos and we tag them, those 20 kangaroos are going to, uh, I guess, represent the population. We're going to be uh, tagged out of the whole population. So generally what we do, we try to create fractions of the tagged animals over the population. So in this case, we're going to have 20 kangaroos that have been tagged, and they're going to represent X, because we don't know what the population is going to be. We later on recapture 10 kangaroos, of which 4 are tagged. So I'm going to put 4 over the 10 that are tagged. I've now created an equation with two fractions. Okay, now I guess the only bad part of this fraction is that the x is on the bottom. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to invert or flip and I'm going to put x over 20 equals 10 over 4 and then I'm simply going to times it by 20 to solve my question. x equals 10 times 20 um, is 200 and then I'm going to do 200 divided by 4 which is going to be 50, and so I get approximately equal to 50 kangaroos that are in my population. So again, I guess the main thing to think about is we're going to create an equation with a tagged over the whole population. Let's have a look at some HSC questions, shall we? Um, so multiple choice. So Yusuf used the capture recapture technique to estimate the number of kangaroos, there we go, um, living in the area. Let's hopefully these are not going to be exact same numbers I just used. So again, I've mentioned before that we want to create a fraction with tagged over the population. And we're going to create, I guess, uh, our equation through similarity. So he caught, tagged, and released 50 kangaroos. So we got 50 out of the whole population. He later on catches 200, of which five are tagged. So five tagged out of the 200. I'm now going to flip those around to make um, x over 50 equals 200 over 5. I'm going to times that by 50 and chuck it all into my calculator. Um, so we're going to have 200 over 5 and I'm going to times that by 50 to get a total of 2 thousand kangaroos which in this case would be C. So again you can see it's actually not too bad once you do this a few times just putting the tag over the whole population. Let's look at the next one. Okay, um, Huang used the capture recapture technique to estimate the number of trout living in a dam. Um, she caught, tagged and released 20 trout. So we've got um, the 20 trout which are, are tagged over our unknown or our population. And that's going to equal, I'm going to take 36, of which 8 are tagged. So I'm going to put that as my fraction. I'm going to flip them upside down as I did the previous two questions. Or opposite of divide by 20 is times by 20. And then I'm going to simply chuck that into my calculator. 36 divided by 8, and then times it by 20. I get approximately equal to 90 trout in my dam. So the answer is B. So again, that comes from doing my tagged over my um, population. Okay, next question. A scientific study uses the capture-recapture technique. In the first stage of the study, 24 crocodiles were caught, 
tagged and released. Okay, so I guess if we're looking at our tagged over our population, like I've done previously, we're looking at our 24 over our unknown. Later in the second stage of the study, some crocodiles were captured from the same area. 18 of these were found to be tagged, okay, which equaled, so 18 were tagged out of, well, in this case, we're not told how many we actually recaptured, are we? Um, which was 40% of the total captured during the second stage. All right, so this is slightly more challenging. So we're told that 40% equaled the 18 crocs, okay? So by using the unitary method, we could do 10% if you wish, but I'm going to do the unitary method to find 1%. So I'm going to divide it by 40. So 18 divided by 40, that gives me what 1% is going to be, which is 0 0.45. And then to find 100%, I'm going to times it by 100. To find 100%, that equals, times it by 100, or equal 45 crocodiles. So by using my unitary method, I found that I actually had 45 crocs, which means that when I'm doing my part two, and I'm going to guess that they're going to ask me for the population, okay which they do ask me that we've got 24 over x that's my original 24 that i tagged out of the whole population equals 18 out of the 45 crocs that i now know i'm now going to invert it x over 24 equals 45 over 18 and then times it by 24 just as i have done for the other questions so 45 divided by 18 and i'm going to times by answer by 24 to get an approximate value of 60 crocodiles in my reservoir um, look that's pretty much it guys it, again it comes back to doing your tagged over your population I might just rewrite that here so doing your tagged over your population so that's number one to form your equation three flip and solve okay that's pretty much it guys most of the questions will be pretty straightforward um, that last one was probably the hardest one I've seen it's pretty straightforward as I said um, just have a crack at some of the questions guys and let me know if you have any issues have an awesome day